Hey, my name is Joseph Arrington, and I am a healthcare professional. And the story I'm about to tell you is probably one that is uh, outside of some of the specific details, one that sounds pretty familiar to a lot of people. Uh, I used to be an athlete in high school. However, I was uh, fairly obese, and I had some health issues uh, with my thyroid that uh, was being diagnosed and treated at the time, so I wasn't able to, to build a lot of muscle mass. But uh, right around the time I was uh, 17 years old, they, uh, they were able to uh, accurately give me uh, the medication that helped me be able to start like all the work I was doing, uh, improve my, uh, my athleticism. Um, so by the time I was about 19, I dropped down from 230 pounds to about 180 ish. And I was pretty lean and I, I stayed that way for the majority, actually through pretty much all of my twenties. Um, there was one blip in the middle where I, I ballooned up again, but I mean, even at one point I had a, a nice six pack, my uh, five, my best 5K time was 19 minutes and five seconds. So I was decently fast. Um, my best uh, half marathon time was an hour and 40 minutes. I did a couple triathlons and um, don't remember any times. I podiumed my first one, so that was that was cool. Um, so yeah, I was an athlete. I was. I mean, oh, and uh, my one of my biggest achievements. I weighed 175 pounds and I was able to deadlift over 450. Uh, at the time, I was just like, oh, whatever. I mean, I, I was a lineman in high school, so I thought, you know, uh, deadlifting over 400 pounds is, uh, is normal, but I wasn't taking into account how much weight I'd lost. So I was, I was decently strong. Things were, things were going well. Um, but then I had decided on a career path, um, and I started really dedicating myself to school, dedicating myself to my wife and kids, and uh, the weight started piling on. It wasn't too bad. I mean, I went and I ran a marathon at 220 pounds. Um, I wasn't fat. I wasn't like ripped or anything. I was in decent shape. I'm about six feet tall. So, but then over time, uh, a few pounds here, a few pounds there, just kept packing and packing and packing. Um, and then the pandemic hit and I jumped up to the biggest I'd ever been in my life, 290 pounds. Uh, or 295, I think it was. So uh, I said, hey, I'm going to change things. I'm going to turn things around. I worked out really hard for a year. And then in 2021, I was at 255, and I was going a good good trajectory. Uh, but at the time, uh, not only was I uh, uh, working on my job and, and trying to increase professionally there, I was also in a doctorate program at Drexel University, uh, their amazing doctorate of business administration program. V fantastic. Um, however, you know, time to start working on the research, time to start working on the dissertation and all the progress. I mean, I, oh yeah, um, I was able to, I hit my PR on my bench. Uh, I was able to hit 350 pounds. I think it was early 2022 that I hit it. But early 2022 is also when I moved from DBA student to DBA candidate. And for those who don't know, once you hit candidate phase, you uh, you are focused full time on your dissertation and getting your research done. No more classes. And uh, between the research and uh, a minor health issue that I had, um, well, minor in hindsight, um, as well as trying to do my full time job, started packing on all the weight again. Uh, I, uh, and for the first time in year, I mean, even when I was getting bigger, I, I was exercising a little bit, but then I just completely dropped off. I don't know if it was a combination of, oh, uh, resting on your laurels, you know, you're like, oh man, I'm 300 and I can bench 350 pounds. Uh, even though, uh, I was weighing like, uh, at one point, I think when I was uh, benching 350, I was at 270. I started gaining a little bit of weight back. Uh, then I was like, hey, no, but it, it's muscle mass that I'm gaining. Yeah. I, I gained like 20 pounds, uh, super fast. Yeah, that, that, that's normal. Like justifying to myself, uh, but in, in everything, uh, you, you know, like, oh yeah, the, the last time I ran a mile is at 270 and I was able to run a mile in, in, in the eight minute marks in, in, in that's really fast for a guy that big, you know, uh, putting some copium in there is trying to 
uh, tell yourself, hey, think, things are okay, things are okay. And, the, and it's not, it's not. Um, and that's what led me to be at the place I am now. Clothes aren't fitting the way that they I want them to. Um, I, I'm feeling tired and sluggish all the time. My knees are starting to hurt again. Uh, they were hurting before it even started getting cold. And um, I, I look in the mirror. I don't like what I, I see. Uh, I wear the baggiest clothes I have, which with how big I've gotten, it's, uh, I mean, I have to get some really baggy clothes. Um, I'm weighing about 295 right now. And, um, this time I know that there's, there's no copium or anything I can, I can inhale to try to make this right because, you know, it's, um, uh, uh, I haven't been weightlifting. I think the last time I touched weights, uh, I, I did a half hearted effort to get back into shape, uh, earlier this year for a few months, I started losing weight. I dropped, yeah, I was at, um, I think it was at the beginning of the year. I was at 305, biggest I'd ever been in my life. Um, and then I dropped down to, uh, to 280. And, uh, and then, uh, I really had to get full bore into my research dissertation for my DBA. And there was stuff going on with the startup company that I have, um, for my, uh, biotech company. And uh, that's my side gig that I'm trying to get off the ground and, you know, normal duties for my, the, the job that actually pays me my full-time job. And, you know, the entrepreneurial life, uh, it can easily spiral down to, or any, any kind of professional life, spiral down to, uh, oh, I'm just going to eat this can, can of Pringles today while I'm working. And, and oh, it's a, it's a party. So, I mean, I can eat a little bit more and just slowly pack the, the weight back on. So... I'm not happy with how I am, and I know that there are probably a lot of you out there who are also not happy with how you are. Um, so I am going to start this journey with you. I'm going to go from uh, uh, tubby back to triathlon shape. Uh, I'm not going to give myself a timeline. I'm just going to go at it slowly. Um, uh, yeah, like I said, early this year I was doing well. I had started at an actual a triathlon program uh, coupled with a variation of a, uh, a power building program, which is like uh, power lifting with bodybuilding uh, to try to maintain some muscle mass. But uh, right now, uh, for this first week, I'm going to go slow instead of running like a 5K right now. I'm just going to run a mile, um, especially with how big I am. I don't want to start off too too fast and... Uh, even if I can do well for a day or two, doing a 5K or five miles even, or, or more than that, um, with how much weight I'm carrying, even if I'm strong enough to uh, support that, it's not good to to all of a sudden introduce that back. And with the just the physics behind it, moving that much weight across, your body's going to uh, eventually shut down and burn out uh, quicker than should. It's not efficient running. Um, but on that note, uh, I did mention that, Hey, you know, Hey, uh, I think I could support it and, and do that. And most people at this weight could not do that. And that's because I have a long history of being a trained athlete. Uh, that's one of the reasons I, I mentioned, uh, my, uh, what I had accomplished, uh, physically beforehand. It's because I'm not starting from scratch. I'm not somebody who has no background in, in exercise or fitness. Um, I'm still a certified personal trainer. I'm a certified nutrition coach all through the national Academy of sport medicine, NASM. I've maintained my certifications all throughout the years, even with my, uh, other things that I'm working on. And, uh, because I, I know how important fitness is and, uh, I want to, uh, uh, I want to have that knowledge and maintain. So it's uh, it's early in the morning. Uh, I went and I stretched for quite a while because I I know myself. I his, I know I historically have tight hamstrings. But uh, yeah, so right now um, I'm hoping to be one of those uh, success stories and do this along with you, of being uh, an executive, uh, an entrepreneur, somebody who is been career focused and transform myself back into, for in my case, back into uh, what I was and maybe even better, but also be along in this journey with you and uh, and move along and, and help maybe me motivation to you and you be a motivation to me through the comments section. And we, we push through this together. 
I'll also be doing some other videos about nutrition. Um, but also, in the end, uh, what I was trying to say before, before I went to a slight different rant, uh, is I do have a background in, in exercising and whatnot. So um, my results will be different. Uh, I will probably progress faster than some of you because of muscle memory. I'll have to look it up some other time, but there is peer-reviewed research, which I'm a, I'm a huge fan of evidence-based research, peer review. Um, there is evidence-based research showing that muscle memory is real. And uh, my body has somewhere in its, uh, I don't know, genotype, phenotype, uh, the, somewhere in there, uh, the epigenetic factors that have of me interacting with my environment, exercising, is still coded somewhere inside of me. So I will be able to more quickly lose the weight, uh, get some muscle back on. And I'm a young guy still, so I mean, I can still build significant amounts of muscles. Uh, muscle, uh, um, uh, as opposed to where I was in my 50s. But, I mean, I'm not an Olympic athlete. Most, I mean, um, my, my focus is on my career. Um, but I want to be healthy in my career. And I don't think, I think the majority of people listening to this and, and tuning in are not Olympic athletes. So our goal is not to go out and all of a sudden be the next Usain Bolt. It's to be the best version of us to be better than we were the day before. So if we are going to be running, uh, we're gonna to try to beat our previous time the previous day. You're not gonna to try to beat my times. I'm actually, uh, I'm gonna like mention my times and everything just to have accountability with all of you, but I, I'm not going to be like putting a huge focus on it because I don't want anybody trying to say, oh, Joseph's doing this, so I need to, I need to beat what Dr. Arrington's doing. No, no, I mean, what you're doing is trying to be you, not Dr. Arrington. That, that's, I'm doing my own thing. Uh, and you're doing your own thing, but we're doing our own things together. And uh, I'll be cheering you on, and I hope you'll be cheering me on. Um, yeah, so it's uh, it's in the 20s. It's super cold. Um, I woke up about an hour ago. I answered some emails because I need to do better. But I, I went straight to my phone, answered some emails, um, got some stuff done. And that's why it's starting to get light when I was planning on being out here a lot earlier. But it's in the 20 degree weather. Um, I'm sure that as time goes and I start losing fat, I'm going to be even colder because the, the fat I'm carrying is helping me stay a bit warmer than I should be right now. But uh, it's worth the sacrifice. Wake up early before the rest of the family. Um, people are starting to slowly creep out of their house. You can probably hear some of the car noises in the background um, starting to some of these early birds, I don't know how, what, what kind of shifts they're running to be so early. Um, I mean, I'm, yeah, so good on them. I'm going to go do my, my run. I'm going to run for a mile and then I'm going to do some preliminary weights just to see where I am. Um, I'm hoping I can bench at least 250. <laughs> um, it's been a while. So, uh, but like I said, that's just my number. Uh, don't, don't worry about that for you. Uh, I'm going to go do some, some weights and uh, talk about, um, after my run is done, talk about the, the weights I'll do for preliminary, just a, a diagnostic a test to see where I am. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, uh, I'll see you at the end of the run. So, uh, <laughs> going good so far. I'm about halfway through. I'm not looking at the time until I'm finished. And I have to psych myself out. But one thing I love about running and being outdoors is sometimes you get an awesome view. Absolutely love that view. So it's great to be outdoors. I remember biking just in some of the most beautiful scenery. So yeah, uh, one huge benefit of getting in shape and running outside is the view. All right, so uh, I didn't uh, sprint, I didn't push myself, so uh, I was expecting a, a pretty slow time. Still a little disheartening. 11 minutes and 35 seconds. I mean, like I said, it wasn't sprint or anything, but still was hoping for around a 10 minute. So, uh, but I mean, onward and upward, everybody has a different baseline. 
Uh, and for some people, uh, one mile might take 20 to 30 minutes. And that's okay for them. You're just looking at what you can do. Uh, and for me, I mean, I, I know where I am. So uh, now I'm in, uh, <laughs> it was actually in uh, late 2019. Uh, we, uh, we just built a shed in our backyard and I converted it into a weight room. So uh, it's saving me a lot of money every year in gym memberships and I don't have to deal with people like me who are recording uh, recording things uh, in the gym and uh, you don't want to like, get in people's way or anything. So uh, I don't have that issue. Uh, it's my own small gym. But uh, yeah, so what I'm going to do today, just as a, as a baseline, I'm going to uh, do a, I mean, I'm already sufficiently warmed up. Uh, I stretched beforehand and all that and I had the mile run. So I'm going to go do uh, like one or two sets of squats, one or two uh, bench press just to see where I am, S some light stuff. Uh, I start light, go a little bit higher just to kind of gauge where I am right now. Um, some uh, some um, uh, hamstring curls, uh, some bicep curls, some pull-ups, and uh, military press just to kind of just kind of see where I'm at, and uh, yeah, I'll uh, I'll check back in when that when that's done. All right, I'm at the end of my workout. Uh, last thing I do are pull-ups. I like to leave the pull-ups toward the end so that I'm already pretty exhausted. I just finished doing bicep curls, and then I push myself to do as many not as many. Uh, Earlier this year, I was doing uh, five pull-ups, which was uh, pretty good for a guy my size, around 285. I'm now at 295 with a lot less muscle mass. I've lost a lot of strength and whatnot over the past little bit. But uh, here's the, the big test to see where I'm at. Can I do one pull-up? <laughs> So, not bad. Three pull-ups at 295. So, uh, not, I mean, maybe I could have done a fourth. Maybe. I started feeling a little fatigued. This is just my diagnostic day one. So, uh, yeah. Uh, overall, not bad. Um, I was able to do, uh, for squats, I did uh, three plates, 315 pounds a few times. Didn't seem too hard, so I don't feel like I lost. I've lost a bit of strength there, but not too much. Uh, bench press, uh, I uh, I did 135 pounds or one plate 30 times. Wasn't hard at all. Um, so then I jumped up and I was just toying around with 225 pounds, doing some different things. Um, cranked out five of them pretty easily uh, with some other like. Uh, movement exercises I do on the on the bench with two plates on there. So it's not bad um, So yeah um, Strength wise, I feel like I haven't lost nearly as much as I have cardio wise Which is to be expected with the pathophysiology of uh, and of aerobic li um, Exercises, but uh, with all that um, I'm gonna go shower up now fix my clown hair uh, uh, get dressed and head to work, but yeah, it was uh, fantastic being able to do this first video. I look forward to meeting a lot of you out there who are uh, professionals. Um, you can either uh, please like and subscribe to the channel. I'd also love it to, to connect with you on LinkedIn. You can find me under Dr. Joseph Bart Venuncio Arrington. Uh, and uh, the link will be in the description for my LinkedIn as well, just to uh, support each other, follow each other in our career pursuits, as well as this uh, this fitness journey that uh, all of us are on in one way, shape, or form and in different times of our lives. And uh, on top of that, 
uh, I, I appreciate you, uh, uh, you watching. And for those who might have questions like, what exactly is your workout? I'm not going to be sharing my, my precise workout because that's uh, geared toward me. There are some people out there who are more advanced uh, at a different stage. They're doing things uh, better or, or, or harder. And then there are other people who are at a, who are just starting and not at my, not at my level right now. So, um, for some people, if I shared my workout and they tried copying it, I'd be making it go backwards because you're at a different stage. And for others, uh, I'd share my workout and it'd be too hard because you're not there yet, or you have different goals than I do. And I'm exercising in a different way to get myself to a different place than you are. Then that could be just discouraging. So I'm not going to be, be sharing my exact workout at any time. Just uh, I don't want to throw people off their own personal journeys. But if you are interested in uh, me helping you out, creating your own workout geared toward you, like I said earlier, I'm a certified personal trainer and I'm a certified nutrition coach all through NASM. So yeah, uh, uh, I, I look forward to being on this journey with you. If I can be of some help, um, I'd love to. Um, yeah. So, uh, if you want to continue on this journey with me, please make sure to hit subscribe, hit the bell icon, and I'll see you in the next video.